out to the 25th year of our broadcast. Here in Cuba, Filipino. At this 25th anniversary, I think there are two things we have to do. First of all, we should give thanks to the Lord from the bottom of our heart for all the graces we have received. My brothers and sisters, having a, men's, having a breakfast that has endured for 25 years is a miracle. No, and it's only, in, I know, and it only happens because of the grace and the presence of the Lord. And so, thanksgiving saying thank you Lord over and over again and rejoicing in that I think is certainly is certainly right for the day This is our 25th year, not, not only of uh, celebrating or holding our breakfast here in Group Filipino, but uh, 25 years of uh, BCBP in our Venus chapter. So, congratulations to all of us. Uh, our sharer, to me, is an epitome of a role model for an ideal public servant. I will not let fear stop me from doing what is right. I will not let fear paralyze nor immobilize me because the Holy Spirit has empowered me to trust God to, feel, to fulfill His plans for me. Just as Jesus didn't stand on His own strength when He was being tempted by Satan, but in the strength of the Word of God, so too shall I stand in the strength of my God's word that he will protect and deliver me. We should not let fear stop us from accomplishing what the Lord has set us to do. Through the Holy Spirit in us, we have the power and with the passion for righteousness in our hearts. We will overcome every temptation and we will manifest the life of Jesus for all to see. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. A few years ago when I was new in the brotherhood, I came across a passage that greatly made an impact in my life. And it says, The level of spiritual authority at which we operate is partly determined by the level of integrity and choices we make. Let me repeat that. The level of authority at which we operate is partly determined by the level of integrity and choices we make. Daily. Brothers and sisters, God repeatedly gives us opportunities to make choices. Account. In my case, <clears throat> my choice to put the drug dealers behind bars meant the inconvenience of limited mobility and the fear of the unknown constantly tugging at my heart, especially when my kids are not within sight. Be that as may. I would still welcome trials which are actually God-given opportunities to make wise choices. My choice to turn down the youth's money was not hard. 
I did not labor over you because I knew that as a follower of Christ, it was expected of me. It did not matter that as a consequence of my choice, I put my family's life on the line. What matters is, I made a choice which pleased my Father in heaven. What matters is, I made a choice which gives me peace. Thank you.